may as well be happy because it's revival time it's not good out there it's not good out there you want to be in church you want to be in revival hallelujah the little word amen today amen as i was praying today the lord has bring back this to me glory to god this word is with what's happening right now the lord said we need a prophetic operation about two three years ago i was on the tv in a, in a global uh, um, interview and that's what i told them that they needed a prophetic operation the word operation has to do with military activity has to do with war and soldiers and and, and what happened and the thing that's happening right now needs a prophetic operation now when you talk about war the church is not referring to physical war because spiritual war is more powerful than physical war glory to god and god says in psalm 144 and verse 1 he said blessed be the lord my strength we teach it my hands come on to war and your fingers to fight i heard somebody preaching today and he was talking about a song where a little axe takes down a big tree is there something like that i didn't know there's a song like there's a song where a little axe will take down a big tree and he was talking about all the attacks that has come against the body of christ and they, and you don't know that the president that is in a certain country already said while he was vice president president that the church is the problem and yet still church people vote for them and before he run he declare if you google you'll find it that the church was the problem of the earth and church people put him in and now they're trying the mandates to conquer the church to destroy the church and when when we talk about we're not even talking about those who have gone that way and made that mistake because if you've gone that way and made a mistake you should be preaching to me my god my god no i'm getting in trouble you should be, be the one who gonna turn on the villain because you're a victim they lied to you they tricked you ah uh, they coerced you they blackmail you they cornered you they told you you would not be able to eat or drink or travel or go to the gym some go to church because some say you can't come to my church come on come on somebody unless you are so if they've gone down to church you know it is bad oh my god oh my god my god so i heard this pastor he said they are like goliath but they don't know the song that a little axe takes down a big tree anybody know about that anybody from you know, the, you know come on all the city people all city people are so ignorant come on i don't care if you don't like me come on somebody you have to go to the countryside to see they use axe down tree that's a hundred feet high and the axe is only three inches Come on. so the man of god as the anointed came upon him he said yes he said church you can use your little axe to take down the tree so i said what could be this verse in the bible like that jeremiah 51 20 you are my battle axe my, my god my god my god my god and my weapons of war my god my god 
Matthew 11, 12, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Matthew 10, 30 something, think not that I am come to send peace. Help me somebody. But I come to bring a sword. Is anybody there? Somebody say a prophetic operation. You see, prophecy is a dreadful thing, you know. Folks, folks don't understand. That's why God leave prophecy as the last thing. That's why God leave prophecy as the last chapter. That's revelation. That's why God left prophecy as the last language. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody said prophetic operation. And the first part of this, uh, let me tell you this quickly. God, God, in this word, God is, has chosen you as prophetic operators. Anybody heard of those, of, of when the government went to look for Bin Laden? Come on, somebody. Glory to God. There were some special seals and, uh, and they had some special names. And, and, and as, as the Lord deal with me, as I'm coming to church, the Lord is dealing to tell you, you have been chosen as prophetic operators. You're going to do some technical job. You're going to have to go under the sea. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Glory to God. And get some tough jobs done. Are you there? You see, everybody who have come to to Florida, I come to the south, has been given a task as a prophetic seal operator or operator seal. That's, that's why some are here right now, they're making their house. Some are here right now in church. When I go to New York, I tell them, and they say, mm, but some are right here now. You want to know who? Come on, somebody got to look at the program. There are some right here now living in the hotel. It's not like you don't know stuff, but I know a lot. <laughs> Come on, somebody. They are in the hotel right now. Yeah. Making the house. I even know when the house is going to finish make. <laughs> and they sit in church now. We, we're looking around for. <laughs> My God of mercy. Glory, Glory to God. Because God sent them. Help me hear somebody. As prophetic. A poet as those who went back to city and struggling to come, they don't get that yet. They don't get that call yet. They don't get that anointing yet. They may preach good, but they don't get that call as a prophetic operator. My God, help me here, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. When you get that call, and when the devil, you see strong city, the Bible talk in Isaiah. <laughs> No, 17.9 at the strong cities and God said when the church leave the strong cities, it will be destroyed. It will become nothing. So God called strong people to leave. The weak ones can anger the strong man there. Come on somebody. Glory to God. Hey, come with me. I can't preach you. I must take my time. Come on, somebody. Someone say, in the name of Jesus. I am a prophetic operator. I am sent by God to wreck the plan of the devil. I am sent by God to stop the beast. You may take yourself small. Once you leave the city and come here, you're strong. Everybody loves city including me come on somebody here yeah? yeah. glory to god and god want me to remind you you got a big job to do don't get discouraged don't let anybody trick you you know the other night i was preaching and i was telling them that the, the, the mandate that they're trying to do not gonna work because they're doing it in the wrong age come on, come on. they're trying to do it in the third age when when the Bible says it will be in the fifth age. So guess what? <laughs> Some people hear the sermon and say, oh, I'm not going then because... <laughs> you know what I'm 
Some people in the strong city said, I'm not going then. I'm not. Some, some even get dropped down here already. He said, I'm not going because the bishop preached that it can't work in the third. Even sinner, even sinner, look at the sermon and say, Oh, it can't work in the third. So I'm not going. But what they don't understand with God, listen to me good. When it is God, God always give you a choice. God don't corner people. Is it devil corner people? Is beast corner people? Is beast say you, you can't get no job unless you take the thing. But God said, Listen, I'm sending you whether you have a job in the city or not. Go. You know what? Come on. Come on, somebody. Whether you lose your job or not, still go. Come on, somebody. Anytime you want to know if it's God, anybody calling you to marry to them, run. Come on, somebody. Are you there? Because that's what they're going to do when you marry. Come on here every time. Blackmail you. Manipulate you. They must leave you free. I love you forever. But behold, I stand at your door. You don't want to work with me. I knock. And if any man open unto me, you're not helping me. I, anytime, anytime you are cornered, it's of the devil. Yes. The Bible says the thief commit not what for. Help me. To steal, to kill you, and to destroy you. But Jesus say, help me here. I come help me that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Ask my wife. She said, no, don't tell nobody. She never ever asks for money in her life and I don't give her. Never. Ask her. Never. And I always give her more than what she asks for. That's the freedom. She must be free. She must be cornered. Are you there somebody? That's relationship. She's not in a spot and afraid to ask. Come on somebody. That's how the father work. You are free to reject him. You know, work with me. You are free to turn away. You are free to stay in the city forever if you want. You want good reason to stay, stay. You want the perfect sermon to stay. Listen right here. Come on, somebody. But when it's God, you'll get up and say, I can stay in my job. I can even get a hundred dollars per week more. Come on, somebody. But God is leading to the come on to the world revival city. Is leading down south. Come on. Even today, I was talking to a servant of God. I said, what happened to you? What happened to you? You, are, you allow them to overshadow you? I said, you need to repent. Said, Bishop, I repent already. Amen. You can't take long to come here. If you take long to come here, something hold you down. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You can't see fish fall out of the sky and you still stay where you are. No. Something wrong. Somebody hold you. Come on, somebody. You can see a man walk from off the street. I said, something pull him. Come on, somebody. And you sit down. Come on, somebody. You can see man jump out a wheelchair. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And still sit down. Something hold you. Come on, somebody. You can see so many people come and get job the same day. And you still sit down. Something hold you. Come on, man. You're not working with me or somebody here. Glory to God. You can't see folks show up. Amen. And in weeks, buy a house. You can't see folks right here tonight have two jobs. Don't look around. Come on, somebody. You can't see folks show up and in days get wife. Come on, somebody. And you're still there. Come on, somebody. Some will never marry till they come here. You don't want me to preach. You don't want me to preach here. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Let them go and sit down until they are 95. They will never get married. You come here. Let me prophesy to you. Stop worry. You will be married. <laughs> My God of mercy. You don't want to hear nothing. You only want to hear about earthquake. Raka shaka ba ba ba. Raka ba ba. Tell them when you come, you will be married. Makataba kayamanda. Raka shaka ba ba. Somebody said prophetic. Operation. The first thing, prophetic. Operation. It begins with the outlook. You got to see in the spirit. 
you got to see ahead. Some people waste their time because they don't see ahead. Don't, they don't see what is to come. Are you there? You got to look. Before you fight, they got to look. Look ahead and see the result. Are you there? Most folks wonder. They say, oh, Bishop, so peaceful. Because I see ahead. I see it's a waste of time. Come on, somebody. I try to convince you, but I look ahead and say, I'm not going to change you. So I leave you. Come on, somebody. I think me somebody. Look ahead. Someone say, outlook. Ask God for a glimpse of what's coming. Whatever it is, ask God for a little foresight. Somebody say, outlook. Somebody say, outlook. Yes, it begins with an outlook. Secondly, God will give you what I call an outlaw. What is outlaw? Outlaw as you get ready to fight. God will beckon you and teach you to outlaw some things in your life. To, to, to outlaw some activities. Outlaw some associations. Outlaw some communities. Outlaw some kind of jobs. Are you with me somebody? Yeah. Hallelujah. If you're going to be God's prophet operator you have to begin to outlaw you gotta walk away from that town outlaw that city my lord outlaw that tv program outlaw that social media platform glory to god to be god's prophetic operator somebody give give him praise hallelujah for his war time. His war time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Here what you got to outlaw. You have to outlaw some of the preachers you listen to. Listen to me, church. There are some folks who listen to anybody. You can't do that no more. You can't listen to somebody to a man of locks down to his back. You can't do that. I gotta tell you. He may be a good person otherwise. But when a preacher, when a man preacher, carry a locks, there are several spirits with that. He may be a good man. From the moment he carry a locks, he already have a contrary spirit. Amen. Amen. Word of God. God. It's also a spirit of perversion. For the Bible said in, in the New Testament, I'm not, I'm not even going to quote where, glory to God, that it's a shame for a man to have longer than a short year. Are you there? So the move, no matter how that man preach good and teach good, if you don't outlaw that preacher after a while, even though what he thinks are good, that spirit will come upon you. It may not come upon you directly. It may come upon your son or your daughter because it's coming through you. Glory to God. 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 I have a son who barely look like me. <laughs> barely look like me. Look like his mother. But every child you have look like me. You don't want any teaching. You don't want any teaching. You know, yeah. So, so you have to be careful. You're gonna be careful. You're gonna be careful. You may listen and enjoy the preaching, but there's something in the spirit world. May not take you, but take your son. Your son become like that preacher. The old law. The lux thing. I don't touch the lux thing. It's not only perversion. And what's the other one again? Contrariness is also a spirit of divination. Anything they try to bring from the Old Testament and say is, what they, what's what they call it? For the Old Testament, that is some Nazarite vow. Anything they try to done from the Old Testament in the New Testament is divinated. It carries a spirit. It 
care of your familiar spirit. That's why you can't convince them. Most folks who go on that way, they look in the Bible and still stay that way. Because they have been conquered by that spirit. You carry also a spirit of uncleanness. Because in the country where I'm from, those folks who go that way, they don't go and marry the official way. They say, take a woman and call her your wife. And any time you, it's called uncleanness, all of it put together. And any time you begin to, every time you're watching them, watching them, listen, you're bringing that spirit in your house. You saw no one to marry. Or when he's 40. Come on, somebody. Help me here, somebody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody say, operation. See, some, some not here tonight shouldn't be here. Because what speak, they must have here in church. They must sit on line. Operation. Be careful. You got to outload a good preacher whose life is strange, funny, even though he's teaching good. Did you hear all I said? And after a while, you begin to disregard scriptural guidelines. Come on, come on. You begin to, for the same you take and, and drink that thing. After a while, you begin to disregard the instructions of scripture. Yes. And begin to be contrary the same way. Oh. If you're not careful, you begin to become perverted the same way. Someone said prophetic. prophetic. Operation. So number one, hit me now. Outlook. Come on. Outlaw. And number three, outrun. You have to learn to outrun the devil. Move quickly. Come on. Romans 8 28. He says, he said, move quickly. Glory to God. First Corinthians 6 12 says, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Outrun the devil. Don't let the, the, the work of the enemy be before. And the Bible said Elijah run and outrun the king. Is anybody there? Somebody say operation. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. I am God's prophetic operator. Yes, make quick decisions. Move suddenly. Don't stay long. One of the reasons why some came and spoke and went back and did not is because they didn't move quickly. Well, while you are in the midst of revival, make decision. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So many times send back for your things because the devil is wicked. Yes. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. A lady came to the revival. My God, a lady came to the revival. She came from another state. You know, and she was staying at the house I was staying, you know. Cry the guns, we're gonna cook for us, and she cooks so good. Thank My God. God of mercy, yeah. Cry the God. So every week I heard that she's going. I just pray. I just pray. So she's not going nowhere. Come on, somebody, Lord of God. Till one time I went to New York and came back. And when I, when I came back, oh, my wife told me that she says she's leaving in a couple of days. She's going to a convention, you know. Up, up, you know. Come on, somebody. So me and my wife just pray. Glory to God, the Lord. Let you stay. The, morning, the following morning, my wife said she ain't going nowhere. Come on, somebody. So about the evening. About even I finish praying and I go downstairs, I just walk and say, prayer works. <laughs> Glory to God. When you're in the revival, come on, somebody help me here. That's the time to make your decision. Because you're in the presence. Come on, somebody. Of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Because the Bible says the Lord is nigh unto those that call upon him in truth. He said, You shall seek me early and find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. Somebody say operators. Somebody say operator. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. I am God's 
prophetic operator. Stand up, everybody. I'm not going to make it long. And number four, you got to outwit the devil. You got to win him. Come on, somebody. First John 4 and verse 4. Greater is he that is in me. Come on, somebody. Than he that is in the world. The righteous shall always triumph in Christ. For ye are more than conquerors. Luke 10 and verse 19. He says, you shall tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. Come on somebody. Come on somebody. Glory to God. Some of the operation. Some of the operator. Some of the in the name of Jesus. I am God's prophetic operator. I have a little story to tell you. Give me the water. Don't sit in. Glory to God. Holy Ghost has given me this holy. See, we're gonna let you go. No, no, stand up, stand up. If I sit down, I'm gonna go along so I tell you stand up. Maybe I did say sit, I don't know. In ministry, this one is tough. Listen to me well now. In ministry, sometimes God begins to raise up a woman mightily. And the husband make it difficult. Holy Ghost help me to say it. Like what's happening now. For God said in the last days. He would raise up women. In Isaiah 32. He said women arise. Hmm? The Bible says in Joel 2.29. The last set of evangelists will be handmaids. No matter how we big bishop. We're going to be big. It's going to be the handmaids. The Bible said. Yes. We can only push them forward. Come on. But there's a problem. As God raised them up, many times they are hindered because, of course, they have to submit to the man. Are you there? When the Lord spoke to me while I was praying today, you know what I'm going to tell you. You see, Sapphira follow Ananias and lose her life. Are right, you listening to me? But there was a woman called Abigail. When she saw the revival, she tried to convince her husband. You gotta read it. You gotta read it. And he could not get it. She tried. She wish humble herself and he reason with him and said, "Why don't you help? Why do you help the move of God? Why do you help the man of God? The man of God said, I don't care about him. I don't know him. I don't know this new man. Come on, somebody." God sent me to tell you that there is an Abigail option. Amen. Every woman under that kind of bondage. That's why it's in the Bible. Oh God of mercy here. That's why it's in the Bible. There is an Abigail option. Abigail says, husband, I love you. But when he's sleeping in the night, she go in the kitchen and pack up food come on somebody and bring out food and carry out in the field and feed the move of God that when a husband her puffy of heart attack come on mercy Lord mercy mercy we are the queen nobody die mercy. and nobody gonna die mercy. but there's an Abigail option woman mercy, and we'll help you Hallelujah. under God we'll help you Hallelujah. come on I know you can't angle it because you have so much men in here tonight, so you can't handle it. I don't care, you don't like me here. I said, There's an Abigail option. When the hand of God is upon you, He become your father. Come on, somebody, I ain't gonna say more. Glory to God, glory to God. Because it's time for it now. It's war time now. It's revival time now. So, what's the first four again? Come on now. Operator, come on now. Outlook, outlaw, come on now. Outrun. Outwit, that means you win. Yeah? 
you win. And number five, overthrow. You got to overthrow the enemy. That they cannot get up again. They can no more arise. They have lost the battle. Glory to God. Glory to God. Tonight, if there's anyone not saved, and you want to be used by God, come to Jesus. You may be in this room, or you may not be, but it's time to become an operator for God. The enemy has taken mankind as if we are beasts, as if we have no choice. They want to treat us as if we have no intelligent ability to make a choice. Just follow us. Follow what we say. Follow what the news media say. A newsman, a famous newsman this week, hear what he say. Oh, let's, let's ignore all these stupid folks who don't take the thing. You know? Let's ignore them. Let, let's shame them. Let's treat them like they are nothing. And some Christian folk, you know, begin to get upset. I say, why talk like that? Listen, you're only moved by that because you regard him. Yeah. How about the other way around? Yes. How about those who didn't take it? Yeah. Ignore them. Amen. I'm not going to finish here. Come on. Are you with me? Because we are more than conquerors. Hey. You didn't get me. You didn't get me. By their put down. Amen. Lord of God. Because you are more than conquerors. You are the head. You are not the tail. If you are here tonight and you want Christ. You are looking come to Jesus. But if you are here tonight. And you want to respond to this call. To be God's. Prophetic operator. Gather at the altar. Gather at the altar. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is raising you mightily. Hallelujah. He's raising you up for revival. Yes. He's raising you up. I'm telling you. That's why you are here. That's why you are here. You may think it's other things. No, that's why you are here. You have something in you to be here. Glory to God. You may think it's that. No, 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 no. You are, you are led by God. He order your step. He said, the steps of good men are ordered by the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. And those who accept this call of God to be God's prophetic operator. God going to lead you. He's going to give you glimpses of what going to come. You're going to know what to reject. He's going to give you a job that pays so much. And they're going to wonder why you didn't take it. And you went for one that pays less. Because you have outlook. You have prophetic outlook. They're going to wonder why you say, I'm not going to live here. I'm not going to walk here. Because you have prophetic outlaw. You have outlaw certain things in your life. And they wonder why you move so quickly. Because you plan to outrun the devil. They wonder why you are so powerful in God. Because you outwit every plan. He comes against you. And they wonder why you'll accept only winning. Glory to God. Because you'll overthrow every dart. Every plot. Every plan. Every stronghold. Every demon that they have thrown against you. Everyone at the altar right now. Just pray to the Lord your little prayer for two minutes. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. And tell him, Lord, I receive this call. I receive this call to be a prophetic operator. To be a warrior. To be a soldier. Hallelujah. To be a martyr. Hallelujah. In this time. Pray right now. Two minutes. Yes, Lord. I'm ready to be used by you. I'm not just a regular. I'm ready to be an operator. Hallelujah. 
glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus. 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 Jesus, use me. And oh Lord, don't refuse me. Surely there's a work that I can do. And even though I stumble, Lord, help my way to crumble. Though the task be great, I'll work for you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release this anointing. A prophetic operator. In the name of Jesus. I release this anointing in the name of Jesus. A prophetic operator. In the name of Jesus. Come closer to the altar. Come closer to the altar. In the name of Jesus. I release it right now. The anointing. A prophetic operator. Hallelujah. You are my bad legs and my weapons of war. Blessed be the Lord my strength. We teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight. Shut up. I release the fight. My God, my in your heart. Fire power. Upon this vessel in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus use me. And oh Lord, don't refuse me. Surely there's a work that I can do in the name of Jesus. And even though I stumble, Lord, help my way to crumble. Come to the front if you want. Though the task be great, I'll work for you. I'll work for you, dear Jesus, though death may come my way. I'll spread the gospel to the fallen race. And if it be thy will, Lord, I know it's thy will, Lord, to go across the sea. Lord, I know I am willing to say yes give me the key give me, give me the beat oh Jesus use me and oh Lord don't a prophetic operator in the name of Jesus I can do receive it in the name of Jesus the anointing a prophetic operator receive it Prophetic operator. Receive it in me. Oh, Jesus. A prophetic operator. Ooh. In the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Ba 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 ba. In the name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, a prophetic operator, Take it. Jesus, receive it, a prophetic operator, Take it. the anointing, receive it in the name of Jesus, does not work, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. Turn it! Ba, 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 ba. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. A prophetic operation. Receive it! Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, receive it right now. 